Yo, what's going on, y'all? So today, your boy, Uncle Brother YND, the dating God, the walking dating Bible himself, is about to react to part two of my debate that I had with Taekwondo. So this is Taekwondo versus Young and Discipline part two. This is where we really going to get into the meat and potatoes, into everything. He was kind of misunderstanding my mindset, and I don't believe he was doing it intentionally. I just think, you know, you meeting somebody new. You know, he was trying to figure out where I was coming from. So sometimes he would kind of project assumptions onto me that ain't me. You know what I'm saying? So I had to kind of go through that reaction and really breaking that down. Shout out to the Thai uh, Sensei, Plug Sensei uh, channel for this. Shout out to all the dojo members. Shout out to Taekwondo. I fuck with him. We got different philosophies on different things, but in a lot of areas, we agree when it comes to how you should carry yourself as a man. I think we agree a lot more than we disagree, guys. That's that's what I would say. So let's get into this. Let's get into this. And I, I do want to hold you to what you said, bro, because you just said that your experience that you went through, it is what got you there. So what I'm saying is this. It's kind of like you talking about building the house, but these dudes that's incels and virgins and stuff like this, they not thinking about shelter or building the house. They thinking about food. You already got your food. Are you though. saying they need to lie to get the experience? No, I'm saying that they need the experience of all of getting the ass and all of this shit. Cause that's what all they care about. Everything you saying is gonna fall on deaf ears to a virgin that ain't got none. That's all I'm saying. He can't even understand what you're saying until he get the ass. That's all he's thinking about right now. He you too far ahead of him. Right. Because you and at one point you used to be there mm -hmm. too. But they're well, not getting the But you gotta think about it. If you saying what you're saying, right, they need that experience to understand what we're saying. So then what yeah. is our job? Our job is to help them get to where we are in the quickest way possible. To yeah. not go through what we that's the point of a coach. Right? To say, okay, don't do this. Listen to me now. Right now to me, we're talking about bigger than I disagree with that. I, I think the point of a coach is to coach somebody through life, not coach somebody around stages of life and try to get them to skip stages. Well, when you got a coach, you still go through those experiences. I'm not trying to keep you from those experiences because that's life. I'm not about to sell you no thing that, that I can keep you from that. Now, if you choose not to make certain mistakes and stuff, that's just you. But that ain't my job as a coach. My job is when you go through that, and you come watch my video or you come cons do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, right? A private talk with me and we talk, I can say, that's what you did. This and this and that. I could put a face to a name and you'll say, oh shit. Yeah, that is what happened. Okay, that's what that is. And that's why that's a turn off. Got you. Now I know. I can't save you from that experience. You wouldn't even come to me with, looking for help if you never went through it. You feel what I'm saying? The reason why all y'all was here is because y'all had negative experiences and bad experiences and you not getting the stuff that you want from girls and in your dating life. That experience is what's necessary. I'm not trying to coach you around that shit. I'm trying to tell you what you did wrong, what you didn't do and what you could have did better next time. And yes, I am going to tell you things uh, as advice, you know, in the next stage with a girl and make sure you also don't do this. But guess what happens, y'all, if we just going to be honest here? Most of the time, you still going to make that same mistake. You want to know why? You ain't seen the experience yet. You see what I'm saying? So you you hearing me talking for example about no validation well until you really go through what it means to validate a girl and you lose her because of it i'm just talking it's not gonna click unless you have the experience to identify what actually what i'm saying but i'm basically saying the reason why a guy can hear me and really know what I'm talking about and immediately go uh, put it out there is because he already went through the experience, whether he did it successfully before and I'm just reinforcing something he know or he made the mistake and he can recognize that mistake and say, oh, I just needed to do what YND is saying in this way. But if you ain't had the experience at all, I'm just a nigga that's talking. He just a nigga that's talking. It's like a nigga trying to read you the playbook for football and you don't even understand all the positions. You ain't never watched the game before. Now go out there, play the game, run it, and then I'll put, bring the play back to you. Now your brain got a new experience because you went through it. And it says, oh, shit, when he was talking about the wide receiver, he was talking about that nigga. But on the paper, it's just some nigga on the far right side, two niggas on the outside, two wide outs. I'm just talking to you. It's just jargon and lingo. None of it clicks until you have the experience. So, yeah, I, I'm with him. You're supposed to coach and help. But I think at least the way he's saying it, how I'm perceiving him, you know, I don't want to project him in a bad light. But I'm just saying the way I'm perceiving what he's saying I think we got a little different thinking on coaching right there. And the issue we started with, we, we've gotten bigger than this. We, we are. Started with. I, I'm enjoying the conversation. Right. No, definitely. I agree. Peacock is the. I just got a peacock ad. Nigga, fuck peacock. Nigga, what about my cock? I want my shit stared at and watched by a whole bunch of bitches. God damn it. Hello. Part two. Part two. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Go so check I out part you. one. I cut you off right when you were saying something. Yeah. Uh, damn, what was I saying? Chat, what was he saying, chat? 
Oh, no, I remember that. All right, yeah, go ahead. So it's funny you pointed out that comment because that one caught my eye too, where somebody said, they said, Todd uh, debating with his younger self right now, something like that. They said. No, because I really would, I really used to think but, about you, bro. But, on so, yeah, the yeah. dot, on the dot. Like. So look, this that's what I wanted to get to. So check out what I'm saying. Do you not think to get where you at mentally or where I'm at mentally, guys got to go through these steps? Because I heard you say red pill, right? I'm not mm-hmm. I'm not red pill, but I think every man got to go to the red pill to get here. I actually made my my own pill. I call that shit orange pill, but I ain't about to get into all that. <laughs> I'm a troll, But basically, bro. like, I think every dude got to go through that. It don't seem like, like, if you look, and I ain't trying to get too deep, but I know you like deep yeah, convos. Yeah. If you look at, if you... Oh, he got if the you red look and the at blue the pill. Bible, right, the first story where Adam and Eve, right, mm-hmm. it was in, it was set up, bro. Like God didn't make them do it, but inevitably they was gonna eat. They was gonna eat that from that tree. It was a necessary evil that had to be done because it was put in front of them. God put. Uh, All right, hold on, hold on. Let's in, see where in, you go with this. This, this. Yeah, I got we, you. Let's see where you about to cook because you, you I, went straight to the. Let's let me cook. I got you because I, I read. I, I read the Bible a lot, right. right? Which I know that's gonna sound crazy. Like, no, that's dude, not not at all. It's, it's knowledge. Not. It's knowledge in the Bible, bro. Like real yeah, life knowledge. But, but the story is that uh, he put the tree in front of him. He told him not to eat from it. Well, see, I said that because I'm slimy, grimy, talking about fucking all these hoes, and I'm telling guys, some guys, they might have to lie to create value. That's the only reason why I said a lie, not about no extreme shit, but lie to create value in the girl's eyes. And it's like, nigga, you teaching the lie, like God's against that. Actually, you know, in my defense, it says, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Nigga, I'm not my motherfucking neighbor if I'm lying about myself. You feel what I'm saying? So, really, I'm not really breaking that commandment, you know what I'm saying, if you really look at it. It, right and they gave him the it said that this was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil every man goes through that right you know what you're supposed to do or you get told what to do what not to do from the beginning when you're a young person right when you're a young boy but guess what every man falls the same way adam did it, it said that once adam fell it said that was that death or that infirmity was in all men so it's basically saying all human beings have a weakness inside of them to do what they're not supposed to do so it seemed like it's a necessity for us to fall for you to, to get, get to that complete state as a man and learn from your mistakes. And this is the thing too. Go read in Romans for all my Bible thumpers out there. It says that by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. So rejoicing in the hope of God. But then watch this. Paul says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope so this is what y'all gotta understand it's not the fact that god or the creator of us whatever you believe in wants you to make bad choices he commanded you or he set up a pathway in life that's good right but he also gave you the freedom of choice the only way you can understand the knowledge of good and evil is if you what experience both you would have to make mistakes and experience evil to understand what makes something good you see what I'm saying? You're not going to know any other way. So otherwise, you just identify with other people's experiences and you won't have the knowledge within yourself. You'll be saying, don't lie. But you never lie. Like in theory, if you never lied before, how you know why it's bad? Well, once you lie to your parents and they whoop your motherfucking black ass, they, they whoop the black off your ass and, and, and send the skin back to Africa and send you back with it. Then all of a sudden you realize that's why it's bad to lie. Oh, my mama said don't lie. Well, when I lie, I get a whooping. That's a bad feeling. That's a bad consequence. That's why you don't do it. Oh, I lied and now I hurt somebody's feelings. If you give a fuck about their feelings, which I don't a lot of times, unless it's like close family or something. Uh, but you hurt somebody's feelings or a close friend's feelings. You're like, damn, that's why I betrayed their trust. It hurt them. Or somebody lied to you and it hurt you. And now you can learn that way. That's why you don't lie. Otherwise, it's just words. If you just hear don't lie, it's bad. What's that mean to me, nigga? I don't know why it's bad. I ain't never experienced nothing bad from it. It's just you telling me not to do it. What I'm trying to get you guys to say, not is that you got to lie or that you got to do this and I'm commanding you to do it as if it should be a good lifestyle you follow. I'm saying don't identify with Taekwondo. Don't identify with some nigga on YouTube telling you don't do this and that. It's just bad. You don't know why it's bad. Prove it for yourself. That's in the Bible. That's another scripture in there. Let every man prove his own soul salvation. Prove what's good for your soul. And once you figure it out, now don't give that thing to it. So for some niggas, lying to a girl, that don't do nothing to him. It don't make him feel bad. Maybe it make your ass feel bad in your conscience. You can't project that onto him. In his mind, he don't feel bad. It ain't bad to him yet. Let something bad happen to him. I bet he stopped doing it for him. Every man got to go through their own journey on this shit. As we just read, we glory in tribulations too. Meaning... Not we take pride in doing bad, 
But in the fact that we made some mistakes and we had some downtime and some bad choices that we made, we know that, okay, well, I can learn from that. I glory in that too, because making those mistakes is what make you better. You learn from that. Because the experience is what brings the wisdom and the, there and you the go. understanding. So like, I find that like the stuff. And so saying, my argument with the, with telling a, a incel guy to lie about value. Remember, I said to not lie, telling them y'all gonna get married, no serious shit like this. I don't believe you gotta even do none of that to sleep with girls. I done did it so much. What I'm saying is this. Oh, she tried to change the date. And she says, can you do this other time? I'm telling you to lie and say, no, I got something else to do. Even if you didn't have nothing to do. That's a lie. I'm not about to judge you for that. It creates value. Nigga, you got a life and you're going to make her respect your time. That's what it does. If she asks you what you're doing this weekend, you don't say nothing. You make up something. You tell her that you got some stuff to do. Creating value. Social proof. If you want the pussy. And if you don't give a fuck about the pussy, then don't lie. But we dealing with guys that's incels, that's struggling with women. They don't have the value there. I'm trying to teach them to lie to create the value. But I would prefer for you to not have to lie. But I would prefer for you to actually have a social life and build your shit up. So if, I, if a girl asks me what I'm doing, I ain't got to lie. You see, that's why I don't have to lie these days. But at one point, you do. If a girl, if you, if you in a bedroom with a girl and you know you just fucked another girl raw yesterday. And somehow a girl say, you sleeping with other girls? Why would you tell, you could tell her, yeah, I date other girls. Why would you tell her, yeah, yeah, and I just fucked a girl yesterday. Why would you do that? It's stupid. You're not going to get the ass tonight. That's common sense. If you wanted the ass, and I know you do because you just did every work possible to put yourself in a situation to fuck. So you wanted it, my nigga. Why would you tell her, yeah, I fucked a girl and it was last night and it was raw? Even if she asked you, why would you be honest? Why would you go into a discussion to derail and kill the sexual tension that you just built? Now you being counterintuitive. You destroying your works that you did. You destroying your effort. That's dumb. Lie. Or play it cool. Downplay the shit. They all lies, by the way. Not telling the truth and hiding the truth in that way, you lying. That's what grandmama and them taught me, nigga. If you had an STD and the girl said you got an STD, you don't you tell the truth right there because that's against the law. And that's I don't believe morally for me personally. Now some niggas don't care. But for me personally, I wouldn't want to give no girl an STD willingly if I knew I had one. But what if she asked you if you had one before? And this is a new girl that you met. You don't want to be perceived as a, again a promiscuous player. Right. If that's what she's looking for, if that's what she's screening for. Why would you fall into that? Now her guard is up. Now you just fucked up. That ain't no ass left behind mentality. That's what I'm on. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to teach y'all. And that's the lies and stuff I'm telling to say them lies like this to create value because it's a necessary. It's a necessary thing. It's a necessary thing for some guys, not everybody. These your, your guys in the chat, some of them understand what you're saying, but a lot of them, bro, they just regurgitating what you're saying because they rock with you. you know, they're not going to really get, get it even? until they get to that experience. So you know I feel like they got to go through that. Right. Let's let's yeah. base it on the experience. You know, we get even um, if if we both. Right. Let's say, you know, we both dating coaches. If we both had a guy, right, zero yeah. experience, completely moldable to our concepts, our, our thoughts, our way to yeah. deal with the world and interact with it on all levels, not just with women, yeah. on all levels. To me, when I say I used to think like you and where, why have I, what is, why have I grown into how I think now, what has changed, what was added or taken away, what was added to me is I... What I would tell that guy, zero experience, un unmotable, right? He, but he, he has this natural desire in him to have sex. He has this natural right. desire to him for the, him to go where he wants. To me, it, it covers more ground to think holistically. What do I mean holistically? Is how you do anything is how you do everything. All, all the shit you do and don't do affects each other. When you see a woman you want and you go for it or you don't, that's just as much of, of a hurt on your confidence as if it was a job you wanted, as if you was, you know, doing a musical performance and you wanted that opportunity. If you do or do not go for it, that affects all areas of your confidence. I don't think one area of being a human being doesn't affect another, right? So why has my advice evolved into this? Because as a man, when I when I get to playing these games of, you know, dodging the rain, you know, playing for the position I need to just for some sex, right? I just want to fuck yeah. no ass left behind right there. To me, I put myself in the position where I, I value something else more than myself. And, and to me, that is a position for you to everything else in your life to fall apart. For everything else in it. How? How? How, how would they get that extreme? Because next thing you know, boom, you, you with some girl you ain't got no business being with. She ain't worth your time in any regard. You deal with some bullshit you, ain't, you had to deal with from that. Like you said, you already knew. I could keep a plan B in my pocket because I don't. I know some bullshit could come from this. Now, that's just the sexual bullshit. 
like I said, we ain't even talking about her ex, um, you know, been tracking her and she don't touch your grass and he don't. So the, the problem with what he's saying, here's the problem with it. It's not that it's wrong. It's that he's still neglecting guys that don't even have the experience to identify that the girl ain't good for him. You know why? Because they incels who ain't got that much experience with women. They average guys who done got a couple of bodies, no long-term relationships, a lot of you guys watching. So you don't know. So this is, this is the thing I'm saying. I agree with him. When you know better, you do better. Me and him actually think the same on this. And that's what he's missing. I'm speaking from, a, and, it, and it's kind of my fault. I came in here trolling a little bit, but then also speaking from a, Philosoph from a philosophical and ideological standpoint, I'm not necessarily speaking about just myself day to day because as a dating coach, I ain't on here fucking coaching myself. You see what I'm saying? He keep thinking about him. I'm thinking about y'all. I'm thinking about men. I'm thinking about a group of men. He keep thinking about him and people that and, and maybe even people that's like him. I'm not neglecting y'all because y'all the ones who struggling with dating. I'm not struggling with dating. I fuck bitches all the time. I can go fuck a whole new bitches right, right now if I wanted to. I check my dating apps. I got a whole bunch of new messages. I got girls hitting me up right now. Hey, 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 back to back. When I'm going to see you again. I got girls that I could go spend a block on. It's not, it's nothing to me. I go to a new city. I got, what, I had 70 matches in a day. I went to a new city. Just getting on there and changing my location. That's my life. You know what I'm saying? That ain't true though. And I wasn't always like this. I had to build myself up to get to this point. From the game, the mouthpiece, the charisma, the sexual seduction, knowing how to talk to women, masculine frame, stoic. Knowing how to check women as a stoic man, knowing how to lead, understanding in life what I wanted and what I didn't want, understanding the consequences of my decisions. You know where that came from? A bunch of fucking failures and experiences of putting yourself out there. That's why my main thing on my channel is never in your fucking life identify with some other nigga. Go do it. That's what I want from y'all. Go out here and experience shit. It's life. You're going to fail. You can't do everything right. Listen, bro, I had a relationship. I tried to do everything by the book right. And I was confused as fuck in different aspects. I still didn't keep it. It fucked up. It's gone. I had to let it go. Hurt me. You learn from it, though. You know what I'm saying? It's life. I'm sure she hurt from it. But I ain't mad at her. You got to go through those stages. That's what puts you to that next level. So he talking from a standpoint of me and him. Nah, nigga, I'm speaking for y'all. I'm speaking big. Like, from an ideological, like I said, ideological. God damn, I wish I could talk better. <laughs> ideological standpoint for a group of men that's really struggling, that need this data information. Me and Ty, good. We on here helping y'all. So he keep talking about, oh, you know, you do all this for a girl that can end up being bad for you. He's saying it as if y'all would know she was bad. Now, some of y'all can identify, you know, if you've been through it or seen these traits that you don't like before, then, yeah, you'll know. But if, if you a guy that don't deal with that many women and you got some girl that's pretty to you, that's feminine going along with it and she let you smash. how You ain't going to just pull back and know that she was bad. You can't even see that. You blind to that shit. This experience with her and the bad that come from it is what's going to wake you up to that. That's what's going to turn the lights on for you to actually identify this in the next girl that you meet. He's speaking as if you would know and now you bending yourself up just to fuck. I don't think you should do that. When you know better, you should do better. If you know and the know don't come from some nigga on YouTube. It don't come from reading the scripture in the Bible. It's going to come from the application and your own anecdotal experience going through it. Basically life and God teaching you. You see what I'm saying? That's how you're going to learn. And then, yes, other men can, can tell you about their experiences and add on to it. And then you can learn more that way. But if you had a clean slate and you don't know, my nigga, you're not going to know. Nuke the whole crib. Yeah, yeah. We, I had a dude we, come up to my job and try to kill me over that. But go ahead. We're not talking about, we're not even talking about the fact that once That's you true though. build yourself as a person, your time is more valuable. So am yeah. I just trading my time for my dick want? No, I don't think with my But you notice he keeps talking about once you build yourself. He's just not recognizing that a lot of his followers and fans and stuff, that people that watch dating content is not guys like us. There's a small, if I had to take the demographic, a smaller percent of guys is really out here getting it with women like they want to in this community. And that's because they done been in this community probably for several years. They done built themselves up. They done put in all the steps in the work because there's no easy process. A lot of guys we dealing with 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm probably saying your age right now, 21. And you ain't got these experiences yet. And let's talk about how I look. Look at this fine motherfucker. I said, <laughs> nigga, oh, shit, nigga. Woo, nigga, I get out of You know what I'm saying? See, that'd be the pictures I post on my shit. The bitches, they be, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, let's go back my dick entirely they saying see i brought I, I literally dealt with this i literally dealt with like similar shit like that 
Completely, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. When you experience that, to me, I filter. I, I, I look at the other way around. Instead of me getting her or not getting her or losing her or not losing Again, listen to what he's saying, y'all. He not hearing me. Ty, you wasn't hearing me. You keep saying, I had this experience. I had that experience. This brother here talking about people who ain't had the experience. And it can't be given through them watching the video. Losing her. I want to test her. I want to, like, I want to do things that, like you said, kill the vibe to test her. And he also not still not recognizing me and him think the exact same. Ty, I'm living like how you talking about right now with the girls because I don't need to lie and I can't afford because I got so much shit going on. Why am I circling my nigga's nose or something? But um, I can't afford, you know, to, to bring the wrong girl in my life. And I've been through so many experiences to where I've learned how to screen women properly. But to get here, you had the keyword, the experiences is what I'm trying to get guys to go through. That includes the experiences of finally getting some buns and seeing how a woman treats you once you get it. Seeing how you feel once you get it. Learning what it actually took to get there. Some For some guys, you're going to have to lie. You're going to have to twist a little bit. But we all twisting, nigga. You wearing these braids, nigga, them, your, sh your shit clean. You got the clear skin. You want to know why? Yeah, you can say now it's for myself. But let's just keep it real. If women was okay with you being, with us being fat, nasty, sloppy, out of shape, and playing Fortnite all day, we would do it. Why y'all watching us right now? Because you trying to change yourself so you can get the results you want with girls. That's part of life. Why are we pretending? Why you take three to four hours to text back, Ty? The same, why, 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 why you don't show your hand and your interest and, and put them on a pedestal and simp? Because you went through experiences showing you that was bad to do. But that's what you was naturally doing in that moment. You changed too. So how far are we going to go, y'all, with this don't change for women, don't it? We all doing it. I'm just not judging. I'm just keeping it a stack. I'm keeping it a bean, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I'm keeping it a bean. I'm keeping it trilly. I'm keeping it hundo, hundo. Keeping it real. Keeping it raw. Funky, smooth, and shwavy. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? How she handled conflict. How she deals with the truth. How she deals with, with me being bluntly me. Because it'll tell me a lot about her. Are you the type to hide some shit and be sneaky with it? Are you the type who can take the truth, give it back, mm -hmm. accept it and respect it? Can you, even t can you even recognize the kind of man I am? If not, then she not for me. And I, I like that. I like it when I'm not That's a good type. when you get to that stage. Because if I had to change the pure type, she not even, she not even for me. That says something both ways to me. You let me know what and you I, think. And what, and what I think is that's where you at. And I, I do want to hold you to what you said, bro. Because you just said that your experience that you went through, it is what got you there. So what I'm saying is this, it's kind of like you talking about building the house, but these dudes that's in sales and virgins and stuff like this, they not thinking about shelter or building the house. They thinking about food. You already got your food. Are you though. saying they need to lie saying? to get the experience? Uh, no, I'm saying that they need the experience of all of getting the ass and all of this shit. Cause that's what all they care about. Everything you saying is going to fall on deaf ears to a virgin that ain't got none. That's all I'm saying. He can't even understand what you saying until he get the ass. That's all he thinking about right now. He, you too far ahead of him right. because you, and at one point you used to be there mm -hmm. too. But once you got the ass, once you went through your trials and tribulations and you saw, oh, this shit ain't worth it. Then you could actually say, okay, for the people in the chat, they saying, okay, they saying, oh, you, you can learn from other people's experiences. You can, but you gotta be able to conceptualize and visualize those experiences. If you watch my video and you can understand what I'm saying, it's actually because you either went through it yourself or what I'm saying is concept is it's possible for you to conceptualize it because you've seen it in real life play out in front of your eyes. You see what I'm saying? Whether it's from your mama, your daddy, your cousin or something. But if that ain't there for you, everything I'm saying is nothing. It, and, and, and that's usually how it works for a lot of guys that struggle with women. You usually don't have a core group of, you know, father figures or, 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 or older brother type of figures that's really been around you, nurturing you on how to deal with women. You haven't seen what a masculine frame look like. You ain't never seen seduction. You know, so if you hear niggas on a video talking, you got to fix your voice, my nigga. You know, you'll hear a nigga say that. Shout out to my nigga True Cam. He say that all the time, right? You got to fix your voice, my nigga. You got to fix your tonality. But what I'm always thinking when I see the brother's video, and I'm not saying he never show it, but in a lot of his videos, he just say it. And I be thinking, that's why I, in my videos, what I do, y'all, I be on there talking like this. And I, and I got videos talking to girls on the phone. What's up, baby? How your day going? Okay, yeah, you play too much, girl. You better stop playing with me. Like, I'm showing you what that look like because there's a lot of people that's like, Okay, I hear you. He's right, though. That don't mean his advice is bad. He right. Nigga, fix your tonality. But what's that mean, though? What does that look like? If you can hear what he's saying and you know what he's saying immediately, it's because you either did it yourself or you seen it. 
okay, yeah, I'm not doing this. But that's 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 what you could say for you. But a guy that's, you know, 25 years old, 26, 30 years old, 44, I had to do hit me up 44, mm-hmm. a virgin, he don't give two fucks about none of the stuff you're saying because all he's thinking about is ass. So you could tell him all the stuff you're saying, it means nothing. It's going to go in one ear, out the other. How do I get the ass? Now, once you get the ass and you go through some little bad experiences with girls and some stress and different stuff, that's what gives you that experience, which brings the wisdom to know everything you know. I'm saying guys got to go through the step. They can't just hear what you're saying. You know, I'm right. Look at his face. Product. Uh, look, they I don't agree. have to go through it. I agree. That, that's that's my but, thing. I agree, but that doesn't mean how you're saying to get it is the way to do it. So how is it, it not? Is, not getting but you think about- how, how, how is it, though? How can you say that? If, if the goal here... So, look, I just want you to play this out. If the goal here is to get the experience... And these dudes is failing because they not built up in their social life or with how they deal with girls or whatever. And we're telling them to change this, to change that, to do this, to do that, right? And and, and to lie about this or whatever so they can get there. Because you, you lying in another way. Just so y'all know, you still faking. Like, y'all niggas just keep talking about the lie that come out your mouth. What about the, the change in your behavior? That's not your natural self. What about the change in your voice? That's not your natural baseline tonality when you talk. You feel what I'm saying? Why are we not talking about that? Why are we playing the blind out of that? Why are we pretending like you you teaching all these honest tactics 100%? You teaching a nigga how to change too. And all I'm saying is, I don't think it's no different than the words that come out your mouth. That's my prerogative. I don't think every guy is going to have to lie. I'm saying for some guys, that's the reality. I'm not going to keep telling them to do a, a method that's not working. Every time they do it, it's failing. Yo, the girls don't like me no more. My nigga, when I tell them this, don't tell them that then. Lie. Niggas hit me up. It worked. Yo, bro, that shit worked, my nigga. Been watching you for two weeks. This and that. I implemented some of the stuff you said. I don't even believe it. I said it. This nigga YND right. I could put the screenshots up on the screen. Niggas in my Discord. Yo, YND was right. Tell the girls this. I ain't even believe it, but it worked. Last time I was saying the oddest way, and I couldn't get it the way I wanted to. But then what's that experience teach you? Okay, I really ain't got to lie like in this way. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to lie like this. Girls just want to hear this, or if I had this part of my life, then I can do it. That might even give you the confidence to build up that part of your life to see how important it is. But I'm just saying you got to understand that all these experiences are teachers, whether it's a lie, whether it's the truth, whether you made a mistake, whether you did it the right way. They all teaching you something. Y'all got to learn how to find the value in that shit. Think about it. If you saying what you're saying, right, they need that experience to understand what we're saying. They so do. then what yeah. is our job? Our job is to help them get to where we are in the quickest way possible to yeah. not go through what we. That's the point of a coach. Right. To say, OK. Don't do this. Listen to me now. Right? That's that's our job. Our job is not for them to do this. Yeah, yeah. And that's fine. And the guys that can hold on to that and actually listen to us, that's great. They'll get the immediate benefit of it. But there's also another side of guys that can't even conceptualize what we're telling them to listen to because they ain't been through it. I recognize there are some guys that can conceptualize the do's and the don'ts that I tell them. That's why as a coach, you should tell them that. And I will. I'm not going to hold back on the consequences of what can happen to you. I'm not going to hold back on you should do this and this is the best way to do it. Duh, I'm a fucking dating coach. That's what I'm doing on my channel. But I also recognize the other side. There's going to be niggas that cannot conceptualize it. And what my whole ultimate goal is, man. Do what you want to do or what you think is right. Go through the experience. Go through the situation. And that is what's going to really teach you at the end of the day. So you can know for your fucking self. Not just because some nigga told you that. They to go through the same shit we went through, but it'd be better than us. Literally. Yeah. You just admitted that. If we had to go through what we go through, what we learned, why do they have to experience the same bullshit? And I think they ain't I taking this too literal. I don't believe that you got to experience literally everything I went through to be. Well, actually, you would have to experience everything I've been through and have my exact upbringing to be me or vice versa. But I don't think that don't, you know, you can get to the same place of thinking as me with less mistakes. But I'm saying the mistakes is going to come, my nigga, to some degree. They might not be as bad as mine. He's still going to make the mistake. He's still going to have to go through it. Some of the stuff that nigga's telling him is going to fall on deaf ears and he's still going to have to go through it and then reflect later. This is what happens with kids and their parents all the time. It's like he neglecting this or something or he just not hearing me because everything he's saying, I hear you, Ty. I don't know if it's because you're trying to fight for your debate or just because you're missing me. And, and the way he seemed, he seemed very genuine. I still think he just wasn't hearing me on this. You know, and he probably could watch this and hear me better. Y'all should share this with him. So they, How they, many niggas think you thing. want to deal with? They're they going to experience it regardless. That's yeah. the thing, bro. And I so think it's preventable. Go, it's I think not. it's preventable when you have the game to recognize shit and prevent shit. That's the difference. They, it's, but the game come from the experience, Ty. They all, every, all your guys in the chat, they watch you so much. 
They know all the stuff you teach and everything. I promise you, all of them, even the girls they smashed, they still made the mistakes. Even though they watched the video of you telling them over and over again not to do it. You know why it don't stick in their head? They because can't they had to go through the actual it. experience. They had you see what I'm saying? I'm telling you that, like, it's enough videos you can watch, but you actually got to live. But that's still, that's, so that's, that's, so that's, that's what I'm saying. They're going to go through though. the bullshit, though. They're going to go through the that bullshit. That still doesn't regardless. prove your point, though. What, like, what's, what's your actual point? Your actual point is that as clearly as possible. Because we're agreeing right now. We're agreeing right now. Yeah. So this doesn't, to me, this doesn't connect to the point of stand on your principles, the clear. The, you know, the ones that's not for you and for you out the way. And you saying, man, smash, no last left behind. I'd rather, and I'm, and I'd I'm, rather ch yeah. choose my words wisely than lose the pussy. That's that's what the two yeah. islands we're on right now. You'd rather, yeah. you'd rather play your role to, to keep the pussy. And I say I, I'd rather lose her than lose myself. That's that's the two divisions we're on. Yeah. And so, I, well, I, I think the problem here, too, is he keep talking about losing yourself. Like, again, how far are we going to go with this changing shit? I don't think... Sweet talking a girl and she want a, a relationship and you know that's what's necessary. That's the the checklist in her mind that need the box that need to be checked off for her to feel comfortable to give you the ass and she's standing on that. Why I'm not gonna tell her you you my girlfriend today, but why would you not sell the bitch a dream and say yeah, I'm looking for a real connection too. That's what's gonna get you the ass. I don't think that's losing myself, nigga. I ain't even fully lying because I like real connections, but maybe you don't give a fuck. Maybe you do just want to fuck. Well, that's your goal. I think losing yourself. If anything, would be you changing what your goal is with this girl and not doing what's necessary because that's what you wanted. You wanted the pussy. So say what's necessary to get the pussy. Now, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's up to you, my nigga. He can't tell you. He or me can tell you what your goal is with the girl. Whatever your goal is, you're going to have to play by the rules necessary to obtain that goal. If you want to be successful with getting a job, you're going to have to play by the rules of getting a job. Dress nice, dress to impress, talk professionally, have a good resume, and apply for a lot of jobs. If you ain't applying nowhere, talking about I don't want to lose myself because part of myself, I don't fill out job applications. Well, motherfucker, you ain't going to get a job. You see what I'm saying? Play by the rules of the goal that you're trying to get to. There's a right way to get it and the wrong way. He keep talking from a standpoint of, well, I'm okay with losing a whole bunch of, you know, he basically saying, I, you know, the only niggas that can say I don't want to apply and, and go through jobs. I don't have because I do sales and recruiting, y'all. So I dealt with people that's like this. They like I don't apply for jobs. I just go in and they interview me. You want to know a motherfucker that's okay with that? A nigga that got a whole bunch of money in the motherfucking bank, and he can go without. He can go through fifty jobs that say, "Sir, we only we're only going to interview if you do the application process." Well, you don't give a fuck about that. About that, that you don't need a job that bad. Why you got a, you got the you got money in the bank you got your own business so you ain't gonna work for no other company unless they just interview you right then and there you can afford to do that then back to what I was saying before he ain't talking about niggas who can afford to do that but it, it's steps and experiences necessary to get to the place where you can for some people they gonna have to lie for some people they gonna have to fill out them job applications if that's what you want or just accept you a broke bum accept that you lost the ass and that's fine too. Because he had a mentality where he can accept he lost the ass because he know he can go get it somewhere else. He know he got the skills and ability to go get it. I know I got it. Is that you, though? Can you afford to, to, to not do no job applications and still live your life comfortably with the money you got in the bank? Probably not. So I'm going to tell you, OK, my nigga, beggars can't be choosers. You got to say what's necessary to get it. So that no ass left behind stuff, guys, like I told you, that's a phrase. That's not a my channel's young and disciplined. I'm not trying to have you guys. And, it's, and it's, some of this is my fault. I'm a troll, though. Like how I talk, right? Just being facetious, being funny about shit, how I do stuff, right? Getting people's attention. That's what I did. I went in this bitch with a mindset, calculated. Now, I didn't know it was going to turn into this, but I came in here saying I want to ask him about business. I'm going to be respectful. That's how we started it. So he could see that I'm not some nigga that's just thirsty for ass. Notice my questions wasn't about getting ass. I came here asking him about business. You can see where my mind is if you really pay attention. You see what I'm saying? You can see it. It's right there in front of you. I ain't had it. But then when we started getting into these talks, I'm kind of being a little trolling, kind of putting this little, playing my persona, playing my role. No ass left behind. We going to fuck all them bitches. Put them bitches in comas. Fucking these hoes to sleep. Melatonin dick, dropping them off. And cur curing their insomnia. No ass left behind. Fucking all these hoes. I just want to fuck every girl in the world. The dating God. You see what I'm saying? The persona. Playing it up. But I'm serious at the same time, though. Because I fuck your mama. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm I don't literally want you guys to go out here and just fuck a whole bunch of girls. My channel name is Young and Disciplined for a reason. Yeah, I'm saying that everything you saying about losing yourself, 
It don't mean nothing to a virgin or a dude that's in the beginning stages. It means he don't absolutely know nothing. He's not gonna hear it. And I and and I know this because that's what I had to go through to even understand and fathom what you're talking about. And I know you know it because you did the same stuff to get to where you at. So I'm not saying our our people that you know watching us is gonna make the exact same mistake. But what I am saying is it's inevitable. They don't have the wisdom and the knowledge that you're going to have because they literally don't have the experiences. That is the ultimate teacher. They got to learn this by falling on their face and they're going to fall on their face. So I'm not about the I'm not about the bullshit and pretend like they supposed to just hold out and fi- weed out the girls and all this shit. Man, these dudes is like, fuck weeding out the girls. I want some ass. That's how they thinking. And they don't even then know how to weed them out. They go through some bad experiences. Then they say, damn, this shit ain't good for me. But when you saying it, when I'm telling them and I'm trying to sit, I'm not saying you doing this, but when mm-hmm. we sitting up trying to be moral and tell them morality and shit like this, they just going to be regurgitating it in your chat saying, yeah, this and that. But then when they really get out here and they get in them situations, they going to fall anyway. They you know, still going to fall. So we, I ain't going to bullshit them. We literally use the Bible, right? And, and yeah, you ain't got to be Christian to read the Bible. You know, I have family members that help me help me. Look at these dumbass niggas in the chat, bro. You don't got to go through the same shit. Nigga, did I not just say that? Open your fucking ears, you stupid bitch. Read the Bible, read it to me, stuff like that. We use the Bible, for example. Right now, to me, we're talking about bigger than the issue we started with. We, we've gotten bigger than the issue we, we are. started with. I, I'm enjoying the conversation. Right. No, definitely. Here's I another agree. dumbass. You don't have to lie to get some, even if you a V. Did I ever say 100% that's the only way to do it? You, y'all fucking retarded. I hope my, this video, you know, and it's funny because I'm an autistic, goofy, dumbass nigga, boy. But I swear I ain't this dumb. I got a little bit of wits to me to not re- repeat what somebody keeps saying. Bitch, I just told your stupid fucking ass that not everybody has to literally go through the exact same stuff. I just said that and they still put it in here. They dumb. They dumb. They stupid. So please, if you over here, please don't be stupid. I want this chat. I want my I want my chat to be a collective of smart niggas. Please. I want a community of smart guys. That's what I want. Fun, funny, entertaining, smart guys with their own mind, and we can collectively build each other up. And if I was saying you gotta lie every fucking time, so the fuck what, bitch ass nigga? What the fuck you gonna do about it, nigga? Make your own fucking community, pussy. And I'ma keep telling niggas exactly what I want. I don't give a fuck what you niggas think. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> To me, we got bigger than the issue. To me, to me, let's uh, let's use the Bible for example, right? It, you're showed these stories, right? That yeah. a lot of times, excuse me, I keep burping. A lot of times, the story is trying to give you a lesson at the end, right? Like this, why I say, Ty, we think a lot alike. So you talking to a nigga that's just, that think very similar to you, or, or at least on that same playing field. I don't take the stories in the Bible literal. They're allegories. They tell you they're allegories. Go ahead and read Psalms chapter seventy-eight. And you can start it from one through six, but particularly in verse two and in Hosea 12 and 10, it tells you that the prophets, they write using similitudes, metaphors and parables. A parable, a parable is an allegorical story. I don't care what you say. They're not really trying to convey a historical fact to you. They're trying to give you a story that has a spiritual lesson, a meaning in it for you to take and apply to your daily life. The Bible tell you that. The reason why a lot of people lie, I mean, argue about the Bible is because they miss what the Bible is telling them the point is. That the Bible never told you that it matters that Moses literally split the Red Sea or not. What? How the fuck does that help you in your life? You know how many people I know believe that and they're not shit human beings? You know how many people I know that don't even know about that and they do better than others? And they more pure and, and closer to what God would want? So it's not about the stories. It's always been about the principles. They're parables. A vi- right. A valuable lesson. Right. Yeah. But again, that, that doesn't mean you're, there's no sinners. Just because we have a Bible, a Quran, uh, uh, any book out yeah. there, that doesn't mean that nobody's ever going to make a mistake ever. Right. So I agree to experience. Uh, but let's use the Bible example. We are like what they look to. They look for our opinions, our thoughts, almost like the Bible. Not that they worship it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't compare ourselves to the Bible or nothing like yeah. that. I I'm would, nigga. I'm the walking dating Bible, nigga. With the experience that they have, who do they look to for guidance? Who do they look to for answers or, you know, what's wrong or what's going on? They want our opinion. They want our takes. That's why our experience helps show them like, hey, this is what you were warned about. Now, again, we, we agree here. We, we could tell a guy all day, man, don't pay for that shit. Man, use your mouthpiece because we both agree on a mouthpiece. Conversation, rule of nature. We, we both agree and finesse. Is intangible, which is why I like this I really nigga, like man. He got a little phrase about everything. Conversation rule the nation. I feel like they overrate yeah. looks and they underestimate conversation.
Look at all day, man. I'll pay for that shit, man. Use your mouthpiece because we both agree on the mouthpiece. Conversation rule of nature. We, yes, we both agree, and finesse is an intangible, which is why what I really liked about you, where a lot of them other coaches don't go. I feel like they yeah. overrate looks and they underestimate conversation, right? Yeah, I agree. So that's what we on the same page. I agree. To yeah. me, I always said with the conversation, get your experience. Dude, just say six six chicks in four weeks. I said, that's it? That's a That'd be like a bad night if I was outside shooting. So we both agree on experience. To me, what changes is once you get in that experience, guess what? It's one thing to start to get in the woman and getting better. The management is even more deadly. Once, I agree. Uh, do you I agree? agree? With that. Once you get to yeah. a certain point where, okay, you're able to approach them, deal, talk to them, that's normal. It just becomes almost normal. That's a fact. The management is some other shit you got to learn. Your management yeah. might be all fucked up. That's true. You might not yeah. know how to. All right, what you gonna do? She, you know, you know what I'm saying? It this, will this, be this fucked up. It's all fucked. To me, that's a whole yeah. other side of the game. Now True. that you yep. got them, now to deal with them. What you gonna do when this one, like I said, I, that's what my first ask on you. I said, yo, when a girl would like you and she wanting you to be exclusive, she gonna start throwing little, little tantrums. Not not tantrums, but like, you know, little times to let you know she wants to be exclusive. We we know that comes from the management. That's all the management part. Yeah. Again, if it was just yeah. about sex, dog, it's the quickest way to get sex. Go get $50, go to the, some corner and you'll get some sex. Well, that's, well, well yeah, guys that don't, don't want that because that, that don't make you feel good. That's not, that's too transactional. No guy's ego going, but yeah. I, that's why I wouldn't encourage that. But go right, ahead. and that's what we think is different. I'm not driven. I don't like to be only driven off of ego. To me, I like I think substance and. and well, I think he missed what I was saying there. I was actually agreeing with him. I'm saying uh, it, that would be the fastest way to pay for it. But I'm saying the reason why I wouldn't teach that, you know, that method is because who the fuck want to have it that transactional? Some dry, decent pussy with a whole bunch of lube. You know, for a bitch that's only doing it because she's trying to pay her bills compared to some girl that's fucking the shit out of you because she's craving you. That's what I was saying. Principles is more important. Your ego can get crushed. That's a whole another conversation we can have. We, that's a whole another conversation yeah. we can have. But, like, boom, when we get to the management part, I think that's where we assert our opinions to say, okay, now that you're dealing with your sins, you can repent. Now that you're, this, you deal with this, you see this, you see that, here's what you can do. That's what I'm really getting on. The part where they gotta approach them, they gotta you know play their numbers game, approach this many, get the experience. They yeah. uh, they have to do that on their own. They have to go outside in the field, get over their confidence. Yeah. So to me, when we get to that part about um, this is where we differ on the management part. Where you say, man, yeah. I, I lied to this one or not lie to this one to keep the ass. To me, I say, buy yourself enough to where you gonna get the you know you gonna get the ass anyway. You know you gonna get the ass anyway. So you might as well. Yeah, but that ain't. But that's not true though. You might as well yeah, and I disagree with that. When you're dealing with girls in the beginning and they don't have that investment in you and they don't know you that much, like I told y'all in the last video, man, I move quick. Go watch my progressions and stages of dating so you know how to progress to, with girls and all the stages you got to hit to get to the ass. I move quick. Meet a girl. It be, we see each other the next week, the next two weeks after that, whatever the case. We don't talk that much throughout the week. I give girls the minimal amount of attention. I do one phone call. Then I set up the link. These girls don't really know me, but the way I carry myself, my frame, my seduction, my game, my mouthpiece, how I'm talking to them, it's, sedu it's sed very seductive. They get back to my crib, we making out, I know how to make a move, I know how to deal with women, I know how to talk to women. So it's easy for me to take it there, but they still be having these thoughts in their head that's like, well, I still don't really know this guy. So they put up their last lines of defense, these last little shit tests at the crib, and a lot of guys, y'all will deal with this. If you don't know how to pass them, you'll fail and know how to say the right things. And sometimes you gonna have to lie in those situations, because if you was honest, you gonna come across like a player that used women and that's her excuse to get out of it women is about plausible deniability they want to be sluts they want to be freaks but they don't want to feel like they was just easy they want to feel like you said everything right you did everything right and they just they just had to do it it was just so horny you know he just he just won me over that's how they want to feel so they in their own mind because they got their own problems and in their head they don't want to feel like sluts but they want to be sluts now some of these gi joke incredible hawk masculine bitches they out here bouncing dick to dick like niggas you know what i'm saying they monkey branching and all this shit dick to dick you know, they 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 think they think they men. I ain't talking about them. But, you know, you're going to have to lie in some of these scenarios or say what's necessary. I call it sweet talking. Ty last video called it finesse. So really, he do think you should lie. He really agree with that. I'm going to say that right now on the record. You know, I ain't trying to lie on his name, but he agreed to that. And we're going to get into that. But uh, he just wanted to call it finesse. He tried to soften the blow a little bit. Nah, nigga, that's a lie. That's a lie. As well, prepare to keep your house clean. Okay. Right? You'll lose that ass. Like but but the, you'll lose the ass because they don't know you that much. That's all I'm saying. Um, but when I say, when he keep trying to throw this thing on me about keeping the ass. See, see, 
I, after I fuck, that's where the real honesty come out. You feel me? Because I got you now. You gave me your body and shit. I know how women are. They're invested now. Now you can start telling them, by the way, I don't like that you said this and you did this. Everything about the management, you good now. That's where all the power come in. So I'm trying to get to the fucking because that's where you get the real leverage and power over the girl's mind. You her nigga now and her mind. Like when I say that, I don't mean y'all together. I mean you the dominant leader over her. She gave herself to you. If she not a real slut, slut. Like the slut y'all be thinking about or the slut I call a slut is a girl that sleeping with 10 plus dudes right now, a whole bunch of dudes. I think they all sluts in the sense of they all thoughts and they thigh pockets and they they, they want to fuck and they want to give it up. I don't think that's beyond no girl. I don't think no girl is be be but a beyond and, and sex is beneath her. You see what I'm saying? I don't think like that. I know they all want to fuck. So I go into it with this seductive thing to bring that out of them. Once I get that, I know that's where the power and the real leverage come from because I'm going to pull all the way back. She's not going to fucking hear from me and she's going to do all the chasing and all the pursuing. And that's what's going to really make me up here in her mind and tear down kind of her self-esteem a little bit and her ego and really look at me like this guy that's like damn like this is my king you see what i'm saying that's how you start building that process strong and yeah from there you can start telling them everything i wouldn't lie and compromise shit to keep the bitch and i know i can go get a new bitch you see what i'm saying easy let's say i lose that ass because i kept it real with her right i don't want to lose the ass before the first fuck though that's what i'm talking about let's say i told her some she didn't like there Unless she just so she fucking annoying and I just can't stand it, you know. But that's gonna be individual off every guy. The woman, I'll leave you alone. Have you ever had that happen? Say say it one more time. Have you ever had you told her you messed with other woman and she cuts you off completely? No. You got. But I. But to see, me, what's the difference? So he. This the problem here, Ty. We already established that I don't lie to girls and and, and lie and tell them that I don't that i that i'm only exclusive with them i never told you that ty this is my problem here he trying to he it's like he trying to win his argument so he projected some shit we already covered ty i never and i didn't want to say it here because i wanted this conversation to keep going and i and i don't know him that well so i didn't know if he was gonna get upset with me or something like this but i'm saying it now in my reaction and in the moment too i was kind of confused on why he was saying it because i'm like bro we already established that i don't lie about those things that's in part one go watch part one i already established that so why are you bringing that up again i said i tell the girl i deal with other girls and i date other women so she know if she saw me with one if i'm talking to one you can't try to press on me or something i ain't got to be stressed looking over my shoulder but what i said was i i would tell the girl that asked me in the, in that scenario i gave did you do you are you fucking those other girls i would say no because she's asking me that i'm not stupid i know why she's asking me that because she's trying to see if i'm a player and if I'm smashing a whole bunch of girls and I'm just trying to add another notch to my belt, I, that's what her concern is. I see that because I can identify it. This is the no ass left behind mentality. I recognize it. So I'm going to make her feel secure in the fact, nah, I ain't sleeping with them. I'm picky on that. You know what I'm saying? Just like you. Just like you. Which might be a lie, but why would I tell her I just had a bitch over here bending over in the exact same spot you sitting in? That's going to kill the vibe. That's going to kill the vibe. He talking about he don't care. That's cap. You're lying. Why are you capping? You, you, come on, man. You know, bro. You know you would finesse. And I know you would. That's why I called you out, Ty. Because I seen your natural game, nigga. You will lie and finesse in those situations. So why are you telling these niggas not to do it? Keep it P. How about make a video and say when to lie and when not to lie? That's what I did. I made a video saying when you should and when you shouldn't. But they all lies. I'm not going to soften the blow. Finesse. It ain't finesse, nigga. You're capping. And it's okay, nigga. This is slimy, grimy land. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for the slimy girl. Thumbs up. Share this shit, nigga. I'm keeping it a bean in this bitch, nigga. Fuck all this. You yeah, man, if you lie, man. Give a fuck about y'all opinions, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Call me a liar. Call me a beta. I'm going to call you a nigga that's getting what I want. Just keep it a bean. They going to fuck with you. I told you. I, I lost my voice right that now. night. <laughs> I you told you the difference. You, the, when you answered that, man. no, that just proved my point. Like it, it, it didn't because we okay, already established it, that. It don't because you, you never me had and them you, leave. You never had them leave, right? Here's the difference. I have things made. But the, but these other guys though, man. That that's what I'm. That, you see, what I'm saying like I'm going back to my principal people, thinking. Ty, we, it's not just me right, and you. Right. You feel me? So what am I saying? The difference? I say it's another guy. Is it me? But the, I don't turn around and say, bro, there's something wrong with you. You need to you need to change your shit up. I say, yo, she wasn't for you. You told her what it was. Again, we already just separated. It's probably more to it than um, she found out you was. She you told her you was messing with other women. We we both yeah. never had women just leave us for that one thing. My regret in this debate is that I'm letting him establish that it's about dealing with other women because we 
And I don't know if he just forgot, but this is a little disingenuous to me on his end because it's like, my nigga, we already established that I don't lie about that in the very beginning. So why you keep bringing it up? That's how I'm feeling in this moment. I think he's trying to win his argument right now. I don't know, man. It just seemed like, I don't know. I met you single. I'm still single. What do I you mean, mean, she shouldn't, but you know, these yeah. hoes, they crazy. Right. So let that crazy ass bitch walk out the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This the thing, though. But I want the answer. So when a nigga, this, this what I, when she I'll walks go, out on a nigga, why do you Man, think it is? When she walks out on a nigga and, and he told her the truth, why do you, what do you think is to that? Because he didn't play into her fantasy. <clears throat> he didn't sell him the right, she, he didn't sell her the right dream. What do you think is going on there? If we both agree that it's not just that one question, right? If it's not just him telling the truth, because we both have told the truth and it's not ended like that. What is, what happens there? Well, no, I, I, I do think for some guys, it is that one question. Because women, it is. if you ain't had that imprint on them, and especially if you ain't got them emotionally attached, right? Like, I just told my guys recently that I had to tell both of my, my main chicks that I had to go get an STI test, and I'm messing with them, and I told them, what, what happens if you got something? They both basically told me, I'm going to stick beside you. I guess I got it, too. But I can't tell no new chick that. You see exactly. what I'm saying? I wouldn't even tell her none you of that saying you type can't? of stuff. Well, yeah, she should know all that. I mean, no, no, I, mean, I so can, my nigga. I have the ability to say it. I'm saying I can't in the sense that it's going to be effective, meaning that those new girls are going to say, OK, I want to fuck you. You tell a new bitch that you just got with that you just took an STI test because you was feeling symptoms. They're going to be like, why the fuck am I at your house? I don't know you. But yeah, once you build an attachment, you've been fucking a girl and you done got her emotionally wrapped into you and she in love with you and obsessed with you. Yeah, I told them girls that and they both said they like, I'm going to stick beside you. I guess if you got it, I got it, too. Like, this is common sense, bro. I, I don't know where were you coming from. Like, yes, I could tell him that and I and I lose the girls. Why would I do that? If I, if my goal is to fuck and I did everything necessary to take it here. I went on a date. I approached. I got a number. I've been talking to her. I did the phone call. We went on a date. I invited her back. I'm, in, I'm seducing her. We making out. And then I'm going to tell her this just to fail. That's counterintuitive. I'm putting I'm wasting my time. I'm putting I'm tearing down all my works. I should have never went through this the, the whole time if I was going to say this. You got to have the intelligence to know that most girls is not going to be okay with that. So so not that's so the, and the reason why is because she don't have an emotional attachment and the imprint ain't been made yet. A reason so these girls... A reason different. You saying that because you might lose her. I'm saying that because, like, to me, it's not her business. Like, it's not... Like, she... I'm not fucking yeah, her. Yeah, but like, you could say that because you got other bitches you could easily get. I'm speaking from the standpoint, though, of niggas that's disenfranchised that's not getting it like we are. They might not have... Get as many options as we do. So lie to the girl on some shit that she'll never catch you on. Some little light shit to create value or to make her feel comfortable. And then after that, you fucked. You got all the power. You can still keep training her and teaching her how you want her to be as your girl. And she'll never know. The only, only person that'll know you lied is you. And, and how much it affects you depends off you and your conscience and how bad you feel. I don't feel fucking bad, nigga. This fucking slimy, grimy land in this bitch, nigga. And if you ain't with that, get the fuck off my page. Same for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I I see what you're saying. You're saying it because you don't want to lose. I'm saying it because, like, it's quite frankly not. I don't want to lose. Can I, can I say my you, thought you know real saying? quick yeah. on that? Um, okay. Yeah, because I didn't want to lose it. So when you're dealing with other guys, though, right, it's all about yeah, what they... You now you, now you yeah, good, bro. Yeah, 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 but uh, yeah. it's all about they goal, right, that they looking for when they come to YouTube. So, and I know you you know this. For I know you know better than me. A hundred percent. What's the number one type of questions you get? It's a dude asking about one chick that he slipped up with and messed up, and he's still thinking about her. And I don't seen your videos where you like, bro, talk to other, move on, right? But mm -hmm. you already know a lot of these dudes they stuck on one girl. So what I think the reason why I've been on here two months, and I think I'm at three point five, and I already had like over hundred k like channel views and stuff. I'm at three over three hundred thousand now. I'm giving them what they can say before the the mistake can be made. You see, so they could so they could finally smash that one girl because you could tell them, yeah, bro, if you lost that girl because of that question, you know, that's just on her and and all of this stuff. But they don't care about that because the the reason why they came here is because they was trying to they was trying to smash, they was trying to crush. They don't care about oh, you know, it, it, it's her loss. No, it ain't her loss. It's my loss because I still ain't got no ass. You see what I'm saying? So when this they thinking like this, definitely. I'm giving them the solution yeah. to what they looking for. I'm going to give you the solution and I'm going to tell you what come with that solution. But I, I, I don't I'm not trying to play judge and tell these, and I'm not saying you're doing that, but I'm just saying mm -hmm. I'm not and trying to tell them, hey, yo, bro, you lose three girls, four girls, five girls. It's all right, bro. Just keep like nah, I'm not about to tell them that. No, say this. And this going to get you some ass. And this is why I got guys hitting me up saying, hey, man, I've been watching you for two weeks one week and i don't did this i don't did that mm -hmm. testimonials out there so it's like 
That's that. That's my thing. It's just it's just one solution. Now, if a guy, I'm not it saying slow. Every, like he still can't understand. Bro can't go without ass. That shit crazy. Low vibration, low IQ. This nigga's remedial. If you somebody right now that's tweaking out on what I'm saying, you just can't grasp it. I'm sorry to say, my nigga, you're stupid. Yo ass is stupid. Every guy has to do this though, because there's some guys who's okay with not getting no ass. They okay with staying on their grind. They don't care if a girl, you know, walk out or whatever the case. Mm -hmm. I like him though. That's where they. He said he cool as fuck, straight up. They at and they and they Bro like. Marketing. You see what I'm saying? That's where they at mentally. Where God or have you, ha however people want to look at it, you know, spiritually, that's the level that they own and they life experience. But I also recognize not everybody is where I'm at or where that guy is or where you are. So I feel like it can't be, a, it's not a one size fits all. And some guys got different goals. I'm a coach. They asking me a question. I give you the answer. I, I just made a video on how to set up a friends with benefits relationship. That ain't something I just thought to make. I had a guy ask me that. That's what he want. Maybe that's meaningful to him maybe he wants some girl to come over and, and suck him dry on the sunday and he don't talk to her no more i give you what you asked for that's how i look at it it's just another solution right now and to go back to our main our main point because everything you just yeah. said is on, on par with you know you know what they want we both know what they want if we go back to our main point being the, the two dividers right no ass yeah. left behind i'm not gonna lose no it. ass if, left if that's going to say something and it's going to get it lost and to me I'm gonna live my life with or without her, whatever the case may be. That's that's just where we stand, bro. Cause like I also yeah. what I also say is I'll have zero women before I have four women. I'm cracking my neck to keep in my life. Why? I agree with that. Because we agree that can be stressful. It's not a good investment of your time. Now I could really go for those guys who are like, yo, you just but he's still missing me, right, me though. Boom, you meet me, all right. Ty, I'm just trying to fuck, bro. Ty, I'm just trying to go crazy, Ty. Ty, I'm just trying to fuck everything I can fuck, bro. Right? And then what, what yeah, I see like when I see this guy is a nigga that was like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga that would think like me, right? That, the time in my life I'm trying to go crazy. And like he got to go through that stage, And to me, though. you could still go crazy, manage relationships well, but you're not, again, you're not going to fuck every woman because not every woman's going to be able to deal with how you're bringing it. And why I do I that. think like that? That benefits the man because it'll elevate him to think bigger and see more. And I don't think a man is in his best circumstances of being a man when his dick motivates everything he's and how he's moving. I, I understand that. And I think for a guy that's hell bent and set in the mindset of trying to soar his wild, wild oats and fuck girls, and he want to get good at attracting women and talking to a lot of women, which is a lot of you guys, don't fucking bullshit me. That's what you own. You got to go through that stage. Because if you don't go through it now, and you don't be 20 now, you don't be 18 now, you'll be 40 years old trying to act 18. You'll be 40 years old trying to act 20. If you ain't there, it's because everything in your life led up to you thinking the way you think. This is a stage that you in in your life. You got to go through it. I had to go through it. Most people got to go through it to some degree. Some people that's, I had a homeboy. He was one of them niggas that was relationship niggas. He had his little period where he was getting his meat sucked and fucking on bitches. It, it wasn't a lot like me. It was just a two. I think he had two experiences. That was enough for him to say, eh, this ain't cut out. I ain't cut out for this. I want a relationship. That's fine. Some niggas, they go through 50 girls, 100 girls. Some niggas never get it at all, and they trying to figure it out. You got to provide different solutions, Ty, for, for, for different people. You know what I'm saying? And, and I do agree, though. The ultimate form of a man is a man that got dick discipline. Young and disciplined, that's the name. I don't fuck every bitch I can. I got bitches. I told niggas in my chat this. They understand me better than a lot of the people that's watching this that don't know me. They know. I got girls, bro. That they say, you know, I go on a date with them and shit. I could fuck them, but I feel like we not compatible. I'm not looking right now for just friends with benefits and friend zone girls as dick only. I had my phase where I do that. I might transition into that again one day. Who knows? I don't know the future. But right now, that's not what I'm on. I'm on my purpose. I'm on my grind. I'm trying to build my shit up. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to put these videos out, quality content, quality videos. You see what I'm saying? I got my other businesses, singing, songwriting. You know what I'm saying? My day job, hitting the gym. Count calories, working out, hitting, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Meal prep, social life, all that stuff. And so I'm cool with just having two girls, one or two girls that I'm real, you know, tapped in with, compatible with, companionship wise. And I and, and I just keep that. Morals. When his dick motivates his decision making. I agree. I think with that's this. where we ought to be separated. Cause, cause in that nah, situation, we, you say we, we don't separate. What I'm telling you, Ty, is that for a nigga to get to a place to where his dick don't rule him. Is he going to have to go through 
failures of trying to develop dick discipline, which means that some of his failures are going to be chasing ass. Some of his failures are going to be sleeping with girls he probably shouldn't have. But those experiences and the failures from them and the burns that he get, you know, whether that's a literal burn, a nigga, ah, my dick, you know what I'm saying? His shit burning and shit, literally. Or he just ex get burned by the fire and he gets stressed out. That's what's going to teach him that. Me, it's right, just like, it, it's how I respect myself. It's how I move. It's, it's how I want to set the standard. It's, it's how I live my life. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing yeah. to do with she like it or even he understand talking what about I'm me, doing or why I'm doing not it. Not the other guys, though. I'm coaching though. the guy out there. And, and he in the mindset, sex is so important to him. He'll do anything for it. To me, I think he's on a road to d disaster. He might Okay, that's true. So what you going to do to get him off of it? You going to tell him he shouldn't think like that? He never going to come back. And he's not going to get no help from you. You're not helping him. You're not helping him. You should tell him, don't. you shouldn't think like that, this and that, bro. But I get where you're coming from. If you're trying to achieve this, this is how you do it. Boom, boom, boom. And you'll see. You don't believe me right now, but you'll see when you go through those experiences. Boom, boom, boom. It ain't what you think, bro. And he going to go through them. Go do what you say. Say the lies, the game, whatever the case. Finesse, as Ty want to call it. And then he'll say, damn, you was right. You might finally get that piece of ass. And like you said, it's going to make him stand up straighter. And if that ass was the reason he had a backbone, the moment he lose that pussy, he right back to where you found him. No, he's not. That's why I disagree. He's not back to where you found him. That experience is a game changer. It's an experience that he literally did not have. That's like telling a nigga that if he finally get a job and he lose that job, he back to where he started. No, you're not. It's as if you full circle, but you actually got different experiences and knowledge up here now. You're not full circle. You're literally not the same nigga that you were. You have new experiences. Some pussy here, pussy there. To me, I don't call it a drought. Because to me, I'm not dried out without sex. You feel me? We all know what a drought is. Because we can get sex. An incel can't. That's the difference. I mean, you just ain't had sex in a while. But to yeah. me, I don't like I don't like thinking like this. Why? Because it's going to motivate me to start thinking on my dick. You know, I got to get some ass, bro. I need to run my body count up. I need to do I get this. where he if coming not, from if here. I'm not fucking hoes. I'm doing something wrong. If she not on my dick, I'm doing something wrong. Something wrong with me. I hate myself. I hate myself. That's a road for disaster. He'll crash out. That you're leading on a desperate man in a desperate energy and a desperate mindset. Yeah. I do want to say this because I, I just don't want to be not saying you misconstrue, but I just don't mm -hmm. want the guys to misconstrue what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Just so y'all know, I understand everything Ty is saying. And I actually think that to be how he thinking. Is the same way I actually had that mentality in me. See, I'm just like I said, I'm just a slimy, grimy nigga. Do, Sometimes I, I fade. I, I go back. For you. It's, it's young and disciplined. Yeah. Sometimes I'm just young. Sometimes the discipline part get thrown out. You know, that's what I'm trying to get people to see. Sometimes yeah. it's just young, but I try to be young and disciplined. You know, both. But it's not always like that. But what I want to say is that my stance is that the thought process that you got and that I actually agree with and that I try to follow, but I got my ways. And I'm being honest here. What I'm saying is, and he do it too. Listen, these, we not perfect, man. Listen, I promise you, I know how men work. I met niggas that been married and shit, and I tell them straight up, nigga, I know you be looking at other bitches. I know you probably watch the hub. You be looking at us. You be talking to other hoes. Nigga, that's the plight of life. Y'all ever read the Bible? The children of Israel in the story, they go from bondage to free, bondage to free. That's a symbolism of what men go through. Our minds go from you doing the right thing sometimes, and then you go back to doing the wrong thing. You go back to doing the right thing. And the goal is you're trying to strive to keep it like that, but none of us is perfect. We're never going to 100% always be keeping God's commandments or doing your shit perfectly. You feel what I'm saying? And I know he do it too. You got hoes that you spin the block on that your brain be like, man, I don't even want this girl long term for her, but I'm just about to fuck on this. I know you have times where you don't want to, and if it's not even with women, I know you got times where you on your shit, Ty, and you doing good with your grind. You working hard, you discipline, you sticking to your schedule. And guess what? You start deviating from it. And then you got to recheck yourself and get back on it. That's all, y'all. I'm just a nigga that's keeping it a bean, nigga. I'm not going to put on them fairy, little, fairy tale life as if I'm always 100% perfect discipline. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm not going to pretend like it. You want to know why? Because when a nigga catch me one day doing some shit I probably shouldn't do, you can't expose me, nigga, because I don't give a fuck. And I already told y'all niggas. Yeah, most of the time I'm trying to stay on my shit and do the right thing. Sometimes I do just have a, I want to be a low dotting, dirty dick, disgusting ass nigga fucking bitches. Sometimes I do. Maybe that's bad. That's for me to deal with. Mind your fucking business, bitch. Is that to get here, you had to go through the stuff I'm saying. And that's all I'm saying. That, that's, what I, that's what I stand on. I, I just don't think there's going to be no dude 
that's sitting around, he wants sex, and you could coach him out of not wanting sex no more. He going to leave your channel, and he going to go find a nigga like me who going to tell him exactly what he need to do to get the ass. But once he go through it, and he get a couple of L's, and he get burned a little bit, you know, by one of these little... And I say burn, I don't mean it like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'll just say... Let's right? hope not, man. But I'm saying... <laughs> or maybe. Right, you never know, right? You can't trust none of them. But he go through his little situations, then now he's more refl uh, receptive to what you're saying. That's why that's a, there's a scripture in the Bible, and this is in every you know old wisdom book. They say to uh, him that have an ear, let him hear. Well, why would they say that? Every human being has ears. It's basically trying to say the person that's in the position in their life, right, with the mindset to understand what I'm saying, they gonna understand what I'm saying. Him that has an ear, let him hear. You see what I'm saying? So that ain't going But so my whole point is what you saying. That's that's gonna fall on deaf ears, bro. If a guy come to you one on one consultation, he say, "Ty, I'm trying to get this." You'll recognize, bro. You sex driven. He gonna hear everything you say, and when he click off, he gonna go back to YouTube and type right back in what he was looking for. And my light skin ass gonna come up. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like he gotta you, go through that you, to get to that if you to where you better, at, just you, like you did. You know better though. You have agreed. You said you 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 your mind. You understand exactly what I'm saying. You know better. If you know better in the position that you in. Yeah, and you know that that's a crash out level of thinking. Mind you, you're not just a crash out for just wanting to fuck. That's not. We're not saying. We're not saying that. Like Chad, if you in the chat, like man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just out here, you know, fucking, and I ain't. I don't want nothing serious right now. That's not what we saying at all. We saying if you in the position where e sleep or brave, live or die, you might damn near got a porn addiction. You probably got a porn addiction. You you looking at holes on all your explore pages on every app. No, we talking about a very specific guy, like where sex and just needing it is is like is his and forefront of, of, of his forefront of his existence, right? The straight, the, the pure and sales, right? For those guys, right? If you know better and you know he's in a position where it's like, bro, sex not going to solve you, gang. You go and get that ass, and you might be like a, a, a crackhead first time getting a crack. But that's a new phase of life for him. And it's the thing. It's not going to solve him. It steps to all this shit. I never said that was the solve. I said that's the next thing to get to the solve. And some things, man, to keep it real with you, don't have a fucking solution. For real? But I'm just saying in this case, that ain't the solve. That's a milestone to get to the solve. Getting the number, the approach, the confidence to just approach, to talk to women, go through in a bunch of experiences that seducing the women, finally actually getting some ass. Then the next stage is, yeah, you're going to deal with, I really want to keep this ass and, that, and stuff like this. That's inevitable. You're going to get disrespected. You're going to have girls that test you. You're going to have girls that's just not for you. Y'all going to have to break it off. You're going to go through a little heartbreak. And then you rinse and repeat with a new girl, but you learn so many fucking valuable lessons from that on what you like in women, what you don't like, how you should have acted, how you shouldn't have, if you're treating them bad, if you're not, never putting women before. You learn all of that by going through it. I know that's what's next. And I'm going to still tell you and warn you about it. But like I told y'all earlier, you can't conceptualize it because you've never been through it. You're going to have to walk through it. To me, if I can go in that guy's mind and get him to see how he's thinking is not helpful or beneficial to him, at that point, I've now gone from a dating coach to maybe somebody that cares about his life. That's the difference. Yeah. To, to, to you, you fly, are they going to turn my chin off and then walk, walk to the next person? No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. He projecting that. I don't think that. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you that the nigga, he in that mindset. I see it. It's on him. I smell it. I smell it on him. It's in him. So I'm going to tell him the problem with what he's thinking and everything. But I'm going to say, yo, this is what you're looking for. This is how you do it. And once you do it, come back to me. We're going to work on the next thing. This is how I get people keep coming back. I'll do the life coach shit, but I'm not dumb, though. I'm not dumb. It's not about I'm scared. See, he projecting. I'm not scared that they're going to click off my channel. It's the fact that I know where he at and I know where he need to be. I'm about to get him through the, through the milestones and the goals and the, and the different things that he's trying to accomplish. You know, baby steps. Boom, boom, boom. You achieve this. You achieve this. It's your small victories and your little dubs that build that confidence and teach you those lessons on how to deal with it. It steps to this. I know he not going to go from incel, beta male, simp to being a fucking alpha male, high value guy that bitches love and he just know what he wanted women and how to lead a woman. It's not going to happen like that. And yeah, will I try to do the right way? Yes. I would try to coach him the right way. But I would tell him straight up, look, bro, where you at? At a crossroads, you're going to have to lie. That's where you at. If you don't want to lie, that's okay. Don't lie. And I tell them that and they say, oh, no, nigga, I'm ready to lie. Tell me to lie. And they say it. They come back and they say, damn, that shit worked. Damn, was that pussy good, isn't it? It was good, but it wasn't really just what I thought. 
you know, I feel like I really didn't have to. I kind of learned. And I tell them, what did, what, did you, what did you get from lying? What do you feel like came from that? And they say, oh, you know, I feel like, you know, I, I really see that girls value this and that. So, yeah, build that. Like I told you already. I told you, my nigga, just build that. You ain't have to lie the whole time. It's lessons in it, though. And I'm not about to sit and judge him and act like he less of a man or shit on him or whatever the case or walk around saying never lie because I know that there's value in anything that you do. Every experience, everything you say, there's a lesson to be learned in that, especially if somebody pointed out for you. And that's what I'm here for. I feel like there's a lot of niggas in my community right. who have came to me seeing the title. Uh, Because my whole thing is, you know, I say DCU, the crib university. I don't go on dates. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. And they see me prove that and show that time at the time. Right? How to do that, how you build that connection, you know, three C's, conversation, chemistry, and connect, you know, all that, right? So yeah. I don't, I, I don't, right? So the, they've seen me talk about that. So the whole thing with not going on dates, I would love to know how long it take him to fuck girls. Is it just one convo and you invite them all over? If that's the case, that's like, y'all gonna look at that as real game. It's easy to make y'all think that, but I know how this shit work. That's just girls that got super high interest. I do that too. What about the bitches with low interest that they gave you the number, they liked you enough, but your conversation on the phone ain't enough for them to be like, oh, I just want to go over some dude's house and just fucking. That's not every girl. You got to some girls you are going to have to go out with. Now, if he's saying those bitches, I just don't fuck with. And I only deal with high interest girls that want to fuck that quick. Right. Or offer just a phone call. That's cool. I'm fine with that. But I would love to know his angle on that. Is he going to play it up as if he just do that with every bitch? I don't believe that. I know that's not true. And not because I can't do it because I've done it. But because I done dealt with so many niggas and I know how this shit work, that nigga, there's nobody that's doing it like that. Unless you're Drake. Drake! Shake that ass for Drake. Bitch, that shake that ass for me. Hey, hands on your knees. I've used a title like that and made them think bigger. How many people in my, if you see the chat, how many people in my community have seen a title or a video? He, he, he kind of diverting the conversation right now and missing what I'm saying still. And like you said, you might have met them at a level of what they wanted and then you showed them what they need. I could tell you could be that kind of leader, bro. Step up. You, you, you. If, if it's here, you ain't gotta. You could bait him with that. Hey, my nigga, you trying to sun me or something, nigga? We think the same way. You missing my my point. I'm not missing you, big dog. You missing me. I'm already that leader. But I do appreciate the nice encouragement from a black brother. You know, I'm a, I'm a giving the benefit of the doubt. You know, there's only two ways I could take his behavior here. He's doing this because he genuinely believe how he's perceiving me. And he just misunderstanding me, which he is, just so y'all know. He's misunderstanding me. But he trying to push me, or this nigga just trying to win his debate. And he trying to like be finesse and just push some shit off on me that's not me to make it look like he's sunning me. And out of effect, the way I'm gonna react to that is this. You know. But you know what you know what they need. To me, I wouldn't yeah. like it's like saying my child want candy. All right, so I gave him, a, you know, I gave him a couple pieces of candy, let they take their ass to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. Now, if I know it's better for a person, I'm, I, I think I should, to the best of my ability, I'm not perfect. He might be a master manipulator, folks. Taekwondo might be. He might be on his drizzy with Kendrick. I'm not perfect. Nobody, no man is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, to the yeah. best of my ability, I should at least try to do what I think is best for them. Because if I met myself and I was like, damn, bro, I need some ass real bad. I'm like, this nigga's going to crash out. He going to get that pussy. That girl is going to have him on her finger like 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 one of these rings. She you going to get that ass. You going to find it. You might pay for it with it, but boy, the moment she say cash at me 500, you going to cash at that 500. The moment she say who that bitch, he going to say here go my phone. I know you're not dealing with that cuz you you it, it didn't take experience for you not to be a sucker. Yeah, it did. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't raised around niggas that. that Come that, on. Yeah. So we don't need. The I mean, I didn't do the. Tell I didn't do those specific things. No, I did need the experience. I. I that, see, he trying to prove a point. He not doing it right. I could conceptualize why I shouldn't pay and be a trick. I didn't have to go through that. I was a sucker in another form, simping and different shit that y'all doing. You see what I'm saying? That's what I meant this whole time. You gonna make that mistake. I didn't do that individual act, but that don't mean there's not a hierarchy to this shit. There's an overarching thing of being a sucker, and then there's a whole bunch of behaviors that's under that that constitute being a sucker. You see what I'm saying? I didn't have to make that individual mistake. But that's because I was raised around niggas and around people that never did that. But I, I still learned sucker behavior in other forms. I still enacted and, 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 and walked out sucker behavior in other ways. And I did have to learn from that. So he trying to make a point. He not doing a good job at it. That's just my opinion. And I stand on it. These niggas like, yo, but, but, watch but, out. Watch out. 
So what I'm saying is this, whatever's in that guy's head, what he already living by, you ain't gonna be able to get it out without, by just talking to him. That's I'm telling you, you're not gonna be able to do it. And what I'm saying is, it's not the different. fact that I think they're gonna- I, no, listen, I seen, listen I I'm telling you, he has an ear, let him hear, bro. The only people that can hear you is somebody that's already looking for what you're giving. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you, it's going to be the life experience that's going to get them out of that. Unless they've been raised already by people who done instilled what you're trying to instill in them or they done heard it a lot in their life. You see what I'm saying? Then they could do that. But I'll tell you like this. When I was in high school, bro. I was trying to be Mr. The niggas called me Malcolm X the sequel because I was on my damn uh, uh, black people liberation and shit, right? Hmm. And yeah. so, and I, I wear glasses too. I wear glasses, but I got contacts in right now. But basically, I was trying to like abstain from all that stuff, like messing with girls and all this type of shit, right? But I, I would hang with niggas that play football and one of my homies, I would have issues where it's like I would be slipping into going back into lust with women because it's always going to be there, bro. Even you, That's you know fact. everything you know, the battle never going to go away, there, right? To the, end of the, to the end of your days. You always going to be trying to conquer it. But and you gonna, know that. You know that, my nigga. You don't know that it's still there. Like, damn, if I could do that with that girl, I would. If I could do this. And you might have times where you catch yourself doing some shit and you might fall. And then you might say, all right, I got to pull back. I can't be acting like that no more. That's just the, that's just the plight of life for every single man, right? Whether we admit it or we don't. And what I'm right. saying is it's inevitable. It's inevitable that that guy, if his mindset, if he don't have the experience in the mind already to abstain, all he going to do is end up keep going down that rabbit hole, trying to find the information to get to what he's looking for. And that's exactly what happened with me with my homies. I grew up around a bunch of- Right, right. So he said, both of y'all got great points. I'd say Ty is more ethically correct, but the other dude is not necessarily wrong. And the reason why he's saying that is because I'm, I'm I'm not politically correct. I'm not going to say everything that just sound good to say. I'm not trying to paint a sunshine life, a, ro a rainbows. Life is fucking hard. And it's meant to be hard, nigga. That's what the fuck it is. Stop trying to live life being a whole ass nigga escaping from shit. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and just accept the duality of life before you has been set good and bad choices. You're going to make both try to learn and do better. Strive to do better. But just know you ain't perfect. You ain't going to be perfect. You're going to keep making mistakes. Niggas that was teaching game and football niggas and stuff while trying to be Malcolm X, Mr. Righteous Man. That ain't no good combo. So he told me, he said, bro, listen, you're going to have to make a choice. And it's inevitable. It's gonna happen to you. You're gonna you're gonna shout start out to my nigga Jay Breezy girls. And guess what happened? I ended up start sleeping with them and I start sleeping with all of them. My whole point is they ain't gonna not every guy's gonna be like me, not every guy's gonna be like you. Guys come to us with different issues, and I just look at it like as a coach, we I'm I tell them what the real is. I tell them that, and I'm telling you, they all gonna hear what you say, and they're gonna be like, that's what's up. And they still gonna be like, so how do I do this with girls? How do I do that? That's why you keep making videos and you got to keep telling them, bro, why are you still only focused on one girl, bro? You, she don't want you, bro. Even though they watching the video over and over and over, you still got to tell them that because they not hearing it because mentally they not on that level yet. So instead of trying to like, I, I ain't going to act like my words is going to just push them there. Nah, shit, this is how you get the girl. And when your ass fall and you mess up and make your little mistake and you come back, then you're going to be like, damn, why indeed? Damn, Ty, I see what y'all was saying. But they got to see it for themselves. You feel what I'm saying? I just think they got to see it for themselves. And I'm not about to, you know, not give them what they're looking for. Because this shit, as you know, bro, this is a business at the end of the day. Like, they come to us, they ask for something, I give them a solution. And I tell them what come with that. And I tell them their different choices that they can make. And it's up to them what they choose to do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's just not either or to me. I think okay. I, it's just not either or. I don't think it's um, either he, you know, is ready to take what I'm saying or or he's had an experience to get there because when you was saying you're getting raised by these people and they educating you and they telling you what you hear we doing that same thing for them some of these niggas don't got fathers they don't got we're not we're doing it in a like manner for the dumbasses please go to google and look up what that means because i'm not about to explain it to your stupid ass we're not doing it the same way though and the reason why is because when you're raised by somebody and you get to see how they behave you get to see what they do key word see it not hear it not watch niggas sit down and talk you get to see it you see the behaviors you see those intimate moments between your daddy with his girls that he fuck with your daddy and your mom this is why people learn how to have healthy relationships they seen it it's one thing to hear it it's another thing to see it 
that's how I was able to learn it. That's what he not understanding. If you can't conceptualize the advice I give you, it's nothing to you. It's a dud. If you can conceptualize it, those are the guys that can hear what I'm saying. And they might not have experienced it themselves, but they can conceptualize it because it's something that's realistic to them and they worldview because they've seen it through somebody. It's real to them in their real life in some way. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's the best way to put it. Got older brothers. They don't, they might got a father, he a weak ass man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they don't have, we are literally that same thing. So the same way you got raised and you was told when you didn't know and you don't know the difference, it's the same way. So I, I also don't underestimate putting it out there because again, there might be a new person. I, I don't either. I just told you that, Ty. I just got to point this out, y'all, because I, I, I know narratives is everything with a debate. And I just want y'all to understand something. Listen to what I'm saying. I just told you I tell them that. So we saying the same thing here. See what I'm saying? We saying the same thing. I just told you I'm going to tell them that. So I'm trying to explain myself. And in some parts of this, I be feeling like he kind of projecting this thought on me that ain't me. I don't know how I feel about that. I, the idea is for us to grow. So there's a nigga that that first video, he click him on, even if I uploaded it yesterday. That's his first video. He ain't seen. So if I say it twice or I say it again or you know what I'm saying, he just might not know. Or when he get that experience, niggas literally was saying that today. Ty, you told me, and I had to find out. I had to see. So I don't. So, I don't see so it as agree. either or. I, I don't. I don't see it as one or the other. I, I think all all of it is natural to humans. You know what I'm saying? We try to do better. We yeah. make mistakes. We learn the hard way. Some people get stuck in their ways. Man, fuck that. I'm tricking to the day I die. Man, it ain't tricking if you got it. Like a nigga might go yeah, like yeah. that. Hey, this nigga's I wrong. Say, I think I see the difference. He said it's a business. I don't really give a fuck in that regard. He's trying to help us evolve. You stupid bitch. I'm doing the same thing. Fuck ass nigga. Y'all niggas dumb, man. Hey, these is 14 year olds though. So I can't. I, I ain't like I'm really hell bent out of shape. I just like talking shit and cussing niggas out because it's fun. <laughs> hey, bro. I ain't never tricking. And that's just the yeah, hill. I'm not either. That's the hill I'm going to die on. That's the hill he going to die on. I don't think it's either or. I think I think you choose to be who you are, and and I'm attracting and pushing away certain types of guys. I'm pushing away the guys that watch my shit and say, man, you know what? Yeah, he gonna keep talking about this, bro. I just want some pussy. I, you're not gonna get it from me. That's that's mm. that's the what I'm okay. saying. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I accept I like, that. I like I that point. That. I like that point. Yeah. I accept that. Like if if you want to stay stuck in that primitive, like I'm just thinking with my yeah. dick, bro. That's all I can see from a woman is just she's a sexual object to me, bro. That's it. Hey, yeah. hey, I'm I'm not going to feed your addiction. Well, I'm not looking for guys that's just trying to ruin people's lives intentionally. So I don't want that neither. Again, incels don't really think like that. A lot of you guys that's watching this don't think women are sexual objects. You just struggle to get women and you're struggling and you want to know how to achieve that. And I'm telling you ways that's possible. And I'm saying, yo, if the game that you're practicing right now, because everybody got a game, even if it ain't good, you got a method at which you're trying to do something. You're approaching it and it's not working for you. I'm saying, hey, here's an alternative. Try it this way. See if it works for you. If it don't, it don't. If it do, it do. And I throw out very, very you know, several different methods. Try them out. If what you're doing is working, don't change it you, unless you're stupid. Why the fuck would you change it? I don't want nobody to change something and do it my way if what you're doing is already bringing you the success and goals that you have for yourself. Duh. You know, I'm still dealing with the, the little guy and the, the advanced guys. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's too much of that okay. out here. It's, they already going on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. It's already attacked on bad bitch here, thick bitch here, thick bitch there. It'd be the same thing if I was like, um, you know, if you was a Mox and Max type boy, then you understand that you make a difference. Your voice makes a difference. What you say does make a difference, whether people experience it or not. Because if you are in a place mentally to be a leader or having a platform, which you already get one, which shows people want to get behind what you're saying or support what you're saying and want to uplift you to that position, yeah. then and you respected a nigga like Michael Max. Michael Max is one of the most powerful leaders I ever respected in my life. Especially when you understand that that post Hodge Michael Max and how he was different after you know he went and his pilgrimage to Mecca and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like. What I like about Michael Max is that he was willing to speak on what it was. And once he reached a, to a point where he's like, yo, I got to keep it real, even with motherfuckers I like or dislike or, or, or love or hate, he would tell it like it was. He would go straight to what people need, which was instead of black man this, black man that. Fuck it, I went over there and, uh, you know, I went, I went on my pilgrimage to Hodge. I was next to a rich man, a white man, an a, 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 a Indian man, a Chinese Muslim. We all was praying together. To me, I, I think if you reach where you are in your mind, give people what they need. It'd be like me feeding into beef, and I know that shit beneath me. 
You feel me? Like I see I, what you're saying. You reach where you are. I, 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 I like I, where you at with yeah. this. That's yeah. that's all I'm saying is where you reach where you are. And it's here's the thing, like, you know why I can like what he's saying? Because I already understand what he's saying. That, that's the whole thing I'm saying. If I didn't understand it, I wouldn't even be able to conceptualize and agree with it. He's saying something I already know. So I get where he at when in his mentality. But what I'm telling him is that don't mean I'm trying to tell people to just do bad shit. He misunderstanding that. I will tell a guy, nigga, this is how I think. This is how you should be. I got videos on this shit. But I know that they're going to have to go through their faces. I'm acknowledging those faces. I'm not going to pretend like they fake. I'm not gonna pretend like the mistakes ain't gonna be made. I'm not gonna pretend like some niggas don't need to lie to get their ass, which is gonna t t take them to another level once you finally are good at sleeping with women or you can. Neath you because you were once there, we evolved. I, I believe in evolution, not revolution. You don't just, a person is just not born from nothing. Like, we don't just create yeah. something from nothing. You evolve, you come from what you were, and you, and you, you grow out of that, or you grow into something else, right? I so, like, I was there. What changed yeah. me? What changed me is that. I think bigger now. I see more. You agree. You see like, oh yeah, they, this dude want this pussy and all that. Am I about to be the outlet for his his desperate, lustful mind and thinking? No, because I wouldn't want a nigga pushing and pursuing me towards that. So that's why I choose to say, yo, get out of that thinking. Find you one woman if that's all you want. I don't even say that. I think that's fair though. I actually think his point here is fair. He's basically saying, I recognize this guy that's in that stage. I'm not trying to help them. I'm going to let them just be them and get off my channel. I think that's fair. Just like I want to get rid of the bitch-ass beta males over here in the simps. I think that's fair. That's his platform and how he want to do it. This is where I'm starting to like it because now he's finally basically saying, can't, he not saying it, he won't say it. <laughs> he ain't going to say it. But he see what I'm saying? He basically saying, but I'm not going to help those guys. And I think that's fair. I got a different, I guess, target audience on the guys I'm trying to help. So if you in that stage... And you trying to figure that out and that's where your mind is at and you still struggling to smash girls and get with women and you still trying to learn these what i would personally call the basics then you found the right nigga he's saying look bro i'm past that i'm not trying to do that and that's fine we got two different channels and two different stages and we trying to help different guys we got different target audiences some niggas say man bump your roster up go to the sky i say listen if you would do at one one woman had one woman i if agree with do, that though i actually agree with this too though i agree with this my thing is not you have to lie just to make it clear not you have to deal with more than one girl you have to smash all these girls what i'm saying is my nigga if this is where you at and that's what you want use this and that strategy and this approach and this mentality and this game that's gonna get you what you want but i think you would be happier if you just had this and that and this and that two different you see how i just put it to you like this he gonna make his choice nigga i don't care what's going on and this is how most people think nigga i don't give a fuck what, what you think about what would make me happy i think i think this gonna make me happy so he gonna go through it take the advice i gave him go through the experience and he will find out you're gonna find out if that makes you happy so i'm trying to help everybody in that regard which is like me personally i, I just I, i'm not I, really I a relationship, i'm not really a relationship guy you know what i'm saying i just know yeah. that my whole life like i've never been heavy on oh i just want one girl i don't know if that'll change later in life but i just know that's me i accept that if you want to have yeah. one woman chat have one woman you want to have multiple do it a certain way so you don't deal with the bullshit that we dealt with. Yeah. This is what I think. If we know better, we we show better. We we are the I, front yeah, So I, we I, agree in this area, but he just I see what you're saying. Me. So to make it real clear for everybody in the chat, mm -hmm. basically, Ty is saying that if you want to know how to be a slimy, grimy ass nigga and get all the and, and get that melatonin dick so you can put them all to bed, you gotta come over here to Y and D. That's basically what he's saying, right? Yeah, we're out of here, buddy. We're out of <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> No, why the funny as shit, man? <coughs> why the funny as shit, man? Why the funny as shit, bro? Why the funny as shit, man? For sure, for sure, man. So that was a good ass <laughs> conversation. I know some of y'all might have been like, "Oh no, why is it going on for so long?" And da -da 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 -da. you see. I like I like debates. I like debates. I like I like a, a a conversation with substance. You feel what I'm saying? Like I like that. Like I don't I don't run from it because at the end of the day, this is integrity for y'all too. Y'all should want to see what what I think, what he thinks. Y'all should want to evaluate what's going on. What's what's this or what's that? What's you know what I'm saying? Like this shit. Like y'all should want to see that, and I encourage that, bro. Great minds, great minds think alike, but at times, you know, they might. Class, you might see what you need to see. I like that though, man. Was, President is crazy. The good convo, man. Because after this, I think he starts playing on a game or a stream or something. You see, saying debate was uh, long as shit. Yo, I literally think I got my voice back during the debate. 
I care this nigga's voice. <laughs> it's not fully bad. I can't even. I can't laugh. Or I can't. Like I can't say certain things. Like at certain pictures. Like, but no. Nah. No, nah, I respect to mention Malcolm X too, Chad. That's definitely one of my favorite leaders of all time, bro. Oh yeah, I love Malcolm. We see how he changed as a person too. Basically, I'm just trying to help niggas get through each stage of their evolution, just like he was saying about Malcolm X. So what you really think about his values? I think about what I just told him. I think about exactly what I just told him, which was, I think that it, it will send that viewer down a, a, a path of losing control. And and this and this is what I would say, and I'm going to leave it off with this, and we're going to end this video. We actually have a lot of the same values as far as what we do personally in our day-to-day. As far as at least how he presented it and how I presented it, I agree with a lot of stuff he was saying about how we should move and how we move as individuals. But remember, guys, I'm speaking from an ideological perspective. I'm speaking from the uh, from a generalization perspective for the little guy, for a group of disenfranchised men, which is the majority of our viewers who do not get women and have the success in life in the general sense that we do. You see what I'm saying? That's most of the people watching. That being said, I'm trying to help guys. That's disenfranchised and need this real help when it comes to dating, regardless of your race and what stage you at. Some guys just want to smash a bunch of chicks. Some guys are just trying to finally get that one girl. And I'm going to teach you what's necessary to either not get that girl or teach you the lesson on why it don't matter to get that girl. And then I'm still going to tell you all the other th I'm going to tell you everything because it because it's not just one or two things to do in these situations. It's not black or white. There's a lot of gray area in life. And I'm going to keep it real with you on the pros and cons of your decisions, the consequences of it. And you and you as a man going to stand on your own two feet and make your choice and deal with it. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not about to sit and disregard you or not or judge you for that. You see, because I agree with him. A guy that's driven by his dick is in a bad spot. But I know the way to get him from being driven by his dick is not by just saying, don't do it, bro. Especially if he hell bent on doing it. Especially if he hell bent on doing it. Just like a guy that's trying to finally, I just want to have a girlfriend, man. I just want to seduce a girl and, you know, have a girl that really like me and just smash, bro, without paying and the, or, or or just not keep taking L's with girls. Okay, he need to learn the necessary steps to change his behavior, which you could call lying in some way. He's changing his behavior. But guys don't want to stand on that because y'all y'all hoes and y'all got to, and I'm going to tell it like it is, you hoes and you got emotional connections to these words. Something about being said that you lied or you faked about something, that makes you feel emotional, don't it? That's why you can't stand on it. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say about me. You call me beta. You call me simp. You can say it's a lie. I'm going to call you a nigga that's doing what's necessary for me to get the results I want. And I could give two fucks. You ain't going to stop me from doing it, are you? You ain't going to do nothing about it. <laughs> Pussy ass niggas. I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm going to keep telling guys the same shit. What you going to do? You're not going to do nothing except huff and puff and yell on your side of the world. That's fine. I don't. It don't mean nothing to me. I'm not moved like you are. See, you move because your sensei told you you being a simp. I'm not, and I'm trying to get you to that place. I'm trying to get you to the place where you a fucking man and you do shit how you want to fucking do it. You move how you want to move. Do I have my ultimate ideal of what you should be? Yeah, but I would honestly, I would rather you know what my ideal is. I'll tell you what to do and you still say, man, nigga, fuck that shit, nigga. I'm going to do it my way. I respect that as a man. Fuck that other shit, nigga. I'm not in, I, like, I know how this YouTube shit go. You know, the bigger I get or whatever, I'm going to have like a cult following and shit because he kind of got a cult following, right? People that's just agreeing with him just agree because they really like him and stuff. I understand that. That's a part of life. I accept life for what it is. But what I'm saying is if you can try your best, support me, rock with me and shit, but don't always just identify with everything even I say. Please don't identify with everything uh, Ty say. Go through your own experiences. And I know he say this stuff too, but it's hard to make y'all do it because part of being a human being is, you know, you have people that you put on a pedestal and really look up to and you watch them a lot and you really like them. I understand that. But at the very least, guys, if you're going to like me a lot and all this stuff, please just be open minded that if I debate, I don't want my chat to look like this. If if y'all can just be open minded, guys, if I debate with somebody, please don't be in the comments. Yes, you can still support me, but try to listen and hear what they saying. Push me to try to understand better. They should have been pushing him to try to understand me better. Now, he did a good job on talking to me and trying to understand. He did. But I'm just saying, like, that's the type of chat I want to have. I don't want niggas that's just dick riding. I don't want niggas that's coming at the other niggas next. That's being stupid and slow and foolish. And they just saying their thoughts every two seconds. But at the same time, I do understand that's what this internet shit breeds. And that's what I'm getting into. 
But if you can try your best, man, I would definitely appreciate that. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all in the next video. Everybody go subscribe to Taekwondo if somehow you never heard of him and you ain't never seen him. Shout out to that. Make sure y'all check out my other videos. Share this shit with him. Share this shit in y'all communities. Get this nigga to see this. Shout out to Ty. I fuck with you, Ty. Everything in this is just my opinion, bro. We could definitely talk about anything if I made you feel disgruntled. I'm not trying to be no disrespectful nigga. Uh, I just said my opinion and some stuff that I didn't share in this because I just didn't want to keep, you know what I'm saying, dumping around and shit like this. So, you know, if anything I said made you feel some type of way, we could talk about it off. We ain't got to post it or nothing like that. I ain't no nigga like that. Peace.